वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल सी डिवोई मेथड ऑफ मिक्स डिजाइन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ब्रिटिश मेथड एज यू आर सीइंग ऑन द स्क्रीन स्टेप्स दैट नीड टू बी फॉलो सो आई विल जस्ट रीड आउट दिस स्टेप्स आई हैव नॉट गिवन स्टेप नंबर एज टू कैलकुलेट द टारगेट मीन स्ट्रेंथ बिकॉज इन द सम प्रॉब्लम्स टारगेट मीन स्ट्रेंथ इज डायरेक्टली गिवन सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द वॉटर सीमेंट रेशो फ्रॉम द कर्ज एंड टेबल देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू कैलकुलेट द Uh, estimate the water content based on the slum or vb time and msa means maximum size of aggregate and shape of aggregate in the third step we are going to calculate the cement content in the next step we are going to calculate the wet density of concrete and total aggregate content then in the next step uh, fine aggregate based on the maximum size of aggregate and water cement ratio and grading zone of the grading zone of sand from curves now we'll see that steps in detail with the help of numerical okay so first of all i will read some uh, few sentences of this uh, numerical in the uh, numerical they have given us design a concrete mix of reinforced concrete work which will be exposed to the moderate condition they have given exposure condition as moderate condition the concrete is to be designed for a mean compression strength of 30 mpa at age of 28 days then a requirement of 25 mm cover is prescribed maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm uncrushed aggregate will be used sieve analysis shows that 50% passes through the uh, 600 micron sieve then the bulk specific gravity of aggregate is to to be found out as to be 62.65 uh, so in the uh, uh, slide i have given as given data in the numerical they have given us target means direct target means strength 30 mpa so we need not require to calculate the target mean strength they have directly given us exposure condition they have given us moderate then next is cover they have given us 25 mm maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm type of aggregate was uncrushed aggregate bulk specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.65 then 50% passes through the 600 micron and type of aggregate they have used as rcc then slum value they haven't given us but we have assumed as 75 mm okay in the first step uh, we need not require to target mean strength as i earlier mentioned okay in the second step we are going to calculate water cement ratio for 30 mpa with the help of uh, table number 11.11 and one curve is there okay and they haven't given us type of cement so we are using opc type cement so this is the table number 11.11 and here we are using type of cement as ordinary portland cement type of aggregate is they have given as uncrushed aggregate then cube strength they have given us for 28 days now uh, in the table they have given us 42 this table is for 0.5 water cement ratio and for 0.5 uh, cement ratio for 28 days uh, 42 mpa strength is there now uh, our aim is to calculate the water cement ratio for 30 mpa okay so this was the curve. this is the curve that i was earlier mentioned so on the y axis they have given us compression strength in mpa and on the y uh, x axis they have given us water cement ratio for now we'll calculate for 0.5 water cement ratio 0.5 water cement ratio i am going to calculate the 0.5 water cement ratio and for 42 mpa i am going to mark this point this is the black point i have marked okay and for, then the after that i am going to draw a dotted line which is parallel to this green line this is the dotted red line which is i have i have drawn here okay and this is parallel to this green line okay then for 30 mpa for 30 mpa i am going to draw a horizontal line which is going to cut this a red line which is going to cut this a red line and after cutting that red line where it cuts from that point i am to going to draw a vertical line which is down uh, on the down, uh, downward side just a moment on the downward side okay to cut this x axis and which is cutting at approximately 0.62 this is cutting approximately at 0.62 see first of all with the help of that table we have we, uh, we received 42 mpa and 0.5 water cement ratio after marking this black spot i have drawn a red i have drawn this dotted red line which is parallel to the green line okay then uh, for 30 mpa i have drawn this horizontal line 
which is cutting this which is which cuts this line at this point and from that line uh, that point i am drawing vertical line okay which is again cutting at approximately 0.6 now uh, intersection point for uh, 42 mp and 0.5 water cement ratio draw a dotted line i am now just reading the water procedure they have given in the book draw a dotted line dotted curve line parallel to the neighboring line which is green line from that from this curve read off water cement ratio for target mean strength 30 mpa now uh, as i already mentioned that how to calculate that and the, then the water cement ratio is approximately 0.62 now check this water cement ratio from durability consideration table and that is 9.20 the maximum water ratio maximum water cement ratio permitted is 0.50 adopt lower of these two now i will see i will show you how to calculate that one now this is the uh, durability table in that uh, we have to see this exposure condition as moderate condition okay and for 25 mm cover maximum water cement uh, maximum water cement ratio they have given as is 0.5 okay and then minimum cement content here we are mentioning here 350 kg per m cube okay so we have to use uh, when we are considering uh, regarding cement we have to use maximum uh, cement out of two values and in case of water cement ratio we have to use minimum value out of two values out of two values means in from 0.62 and 0.5 we have to use 0.5 okay so this is the table for uh, to calculate this uh, water content with the help of uh, slum value that we have assumed already assumed as 75 and which is coming in between 62 to 62 180 or vb seconds we have assumed as 75 mm as uh, slum value so for uh, maximum aggregate size is 20 mm and type is uncrushed so it is uh, coming as 195 kg per m cube okay now check this cement content with the durability requirements okay now minimum cement content was from durability point of view in the table was given as 350 kg per m cube adopt greater of these two so we are uh, we are taking 390 kg just a moment so the water cement ratio was 0.62 check uh, we are we have checked that from table and we we received as 0.50 so therefore we are adopting as 0.5 as lesser water cement ratio then next we are going to uh, next decide the water content from slum value as 75 mm which is assumed and 20 mm uncrushed aggregates the water content is now 195 kg as as i shown you in the table now with the help of water cement ratio means we have assumed as lesser water cement ratio that was 0.5 means maximum water cement ratio which is given in the durability table so we are assuming here or we are taking as in the calculation as 0.5 then water content is 195 kg so with the help of water cement ratio and uh, water content we can calculate the cement content so which is which is comes out 390 kg per m cube we, we that again we have to check in the durability table so minimum content is 350 so out of 350 and 390 we have to take 390 as it it was it is maximum value okay then then next find out the density of fresh concrete from the figure 11.4 okay for water content 195 kg and uh, just a moment so on the y axis weight density is given as uh, in the kg per m cube and on the x axis they have given as water content so we have 195 kg 195 kg as it is coming in between 180 to 200 okay and 2.6 is uh, is the specific gravity of uncrushed aggregates okay so if we, if i cut this line at the uh, cut this red line at this point We, uh, we will get 24 approximately 2400 okay so density of aggregate we are going to assume as 2400 kg per m cube okay now the weight density we are assuming as here 24 kg per m cube 
now next find out the weight total weight of the total weight of aggregates now we have 2400 as uh, total weight of uh, concrete that is 2400 then minus 195 is the weight of water plus 390 is the weight of cement then it is equal to 185 1815 kg per mq is the total weight of aggregate now next find out the percentage of fine aggregate okay from figure 11 point b for 20 mm aggregate size and water cement ratio as 0.5 and slum of 75 mm for 50% fine uh, fines passing through the 600 micron sieve now the percentage is coming as 40% now how i will show you so th this is the graph so we have to use for maximum size of aggregate 20 mm and slum is 60 to 180 mm okay so this graph we have to use and for uh, 50% passing uh 50% passing in the 600 micron sieve we have to draw this line in between 40 and 60 these uh, numbers are 50 40 60 are nothing but passing percentages so i have to draw a line between 40 and 60 on this graph okay after drawing that graph for 0.5 water cement ratio again i have to draw vertical line and then again i have to draw horizontal line that will cut through 40 and that is nothing but proportion of fine aggregate percentage okay likewise we have to calculate with the help of maximum size of aggregate and 70 uh, with the help of slum value as 75 mm and for 50% fi fines passing through the 600 micron sieve the percentage is 40% okay now weight of fine aggregate is equal to this is the total weight of aggregates 1815 which was already cal calculated so 40% divided by 100 is equal to 726 kg per mq cube now weight of coarse aggregate is equal to total aggregates minus fine aggregates okay so which is coming out 1089 kg per mq cube now estimate the quantities so cement was 390 fine aggregates uh, 726 coarse aggregates 1089 water is 195 uh, weight density was earlier we have calculated as 2400 so the above quantity is re uh, required to be adjusted for the field moisture content and absorption characteristics of aggregate thank you thank you so much